What's going on YouTube? Dave here and for today we're going to go over the Aoshima 1-350th attack submarine. Um, this is by Ultra uh, Super Pictures, officially licensed and I've been super stoked on this. Um, I will say off the bat I was hoping it was going to be a little bit bigger in hand but it's still cool nonetheless. I know some of you guys have really been waiting to uh, see this. Um, you can kind of see on here, this is the uh, submarines and the battleships that actually uh, transform. And this thing is going to be awesome to build. Uh, it is also going to be a pain in the rear, so let me warn you ahead of time. We're going to go over some documentation first. Uh, one of the first things that you end up seeing when you open it, and I want to make sure I have this done out right is how your decal placement is. It does give you uh, what paints to end up using. It does recommend Mr. Color for your painting on here. It does give your, uh, your colored numbers on here. Gives you in uh, Japanese, English, German, French, and Chinese of what the actual colors are. Just in case you want to use your own, you don't want to go by the, the jar color. Then you have all your different sections. Um, you have this in there, and I, w I won't really know until it is built, but I believe these are swappable pieces uh, in between open and closed mode uh, on the kit itself. Here we have the instruction manual. It is in just black and white. We'll go over it real quick. And I almost have a feeling it almost looks a little out of focus. So I'm going to tweak here, hopefully not too much. And that should be about good. All right. Now I'll just slide it side to side. So you have this. Now these are actually little cardboard um, figures that come with it and I believe this is the one that comes with the one that I have Now this will be my first kit um, from Aoshima that's not a car. I know they do really well with the cars And yes, this does have photo etching and I can't remember I believe it was um well, this one came with photo etching, but it also, I believe there's add-on kits that you can get for these that have photo etching. There are actually a lot of pages to this manual. Um, I was really surprised on that. So going through, it doesn't look like a difficult build. There is one downfall that I found, and I will let you know that when we get to that. And because this is one th um, 350th, there are some small pieces. So that's what it'll look like up on its base. There's that. This in one 350th does not compare to something like the space battleship uh, Yamato at three one 350th though. Um, okay, and then here's all your runner layout. It does come with some rods, screws, decals, photo etch parts. Um, getting into that, and I hadn't opened up this bag yet because I didn't want to accidentally lose anything. And I was actually wrong. It does come with each one of those characters. And these are... Um, kind of fold outs, cardboard fold outs, so you can display whichever one that you want with it. You get your instruction sheet for placing the photo etch details. 
and this will actually give me a chance to show you guys um, how to use something like um, I have a couple of photo etch tools being a photo etch bender uh, things like that so they'll get they'll be a good chance for me to show you how to use that so let you guys see that all right get that out of the way and then here is the sheet of photo etch and yes there are some really small pieces in there but I love working with photo etch next up you get your water slide decals and I believe you get two sheets just in case you mess some up which I think is very cool uh, actually I take that back well I'm not for sure because in the light you can see one is lighter than the other so I am not completely sure they look identical except for one is lighter than the other so maybe that's up to preference all right starting off with runner a this is in a deep um, deep blue and I'll just go I'll just start off because this is a great example right here let me zoom in if you guys can see there is a texture on every piece that's on here so let that pre be pre-warning to you you can either sand everything or paint it as is um, the details are really fine in here um, but just know there is going to be detail on here didn't want that to be a surprise to anybody and it's not just on one side it's on both sides it would almost remind you of a third party kit actually it reminds me ex exactly of a third party kit so I don't know if that is a flaw with the casting or if that's the way that it was intended because um, there are some pieces that are that are smooth but as far as all the exterior pieces there they all have that texture um, this is runner B runner C I believe this pops in um, from end to end fully built at about 13 and a half inches 13 13 and a half inches you get your engines over here of course you guys know me I wish it was bigger all right more details this is a uh, runner D runner E more of those opening panels and everything you can see all the portholes over here runner F these are going to be your internals for I believe the engines uh, runner G Uh, runner H you have what looks like smokestacks over here or antennas and you got some really th small thin pieces so you're gonna have to um, be careful with that I would almost uh, replace them I think some of those are replaceable by the the add-on photo edge kit but I am not uh, not for sure you also get these which look like uh, like life preserver boats I don't know if they're made for to be on display like around it but they remind me of the battleship boats you got all the guns you have all these details and stuff that go on deck um, next I left these in the baggie so nothing would end up happening to them you got some clear pieces here this is a runner J and runner I You get your base for it which is rather small but it's not a big kit either this is runner H you get this little baggie which has these pieces which I am not for sure what they are for but they're just um, little plastic o-rings looks like and then last but not least 
you get another bag and this one has some steel rods in there you get some screws with some nuts you get some looks like stainless steel well they're not stainless steel I know they're not because the magnet sticking to them so you get some metal pins um, you get some more rods you get more of those o-rings and you get four magnets in here and I'm assuming that all these pieces have to do with the transformation of it um, so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed the overview on that um, I don't know when I will get to this I believe I have the others on pre-order um, but yeah, very cool. I wanted to show you guys as soon as I got it and got it all open. Hope you guys all enjoy. I will talk to you all later. As usual, peace out.